Did you ever think that sound could keep your ice cream cool? Well, in 2000, Ben & Jerry's wanted to avoid keeping their ice cream cool at the cost of the environment. Most fridges at the time released compounds that were harmful to stratospheric ozone. Ben & Jerry's decided to partner with researchers at Penn State, and they came up with the idea of using acoustic sound waves to keep their ice cream cool. They called the system a thermoacoustic freezer. A thermoacoustic freezer uses the oscillation of sound waves to transfer heat. Sound waves expand and compress, interacting with surrounding air to cause fluctuations in pressure and thus temperature. When sound waves compress, it creates a high-pressure zone which releases heat. Expansion of waves, on the other hand, creates a low-pressure zone and thus has a tendency to absorb heat. In an ordinary conversation, the temperature would fluctuate by just one ten-thousandth of a degree. But with a much higher volume, say 195 decibels, temperatures can fluctuate enough to keep food frozen. A fridge keeps food cool by using a heat pump to transfer heat from our cool source, where we store our food, to a hot sink, where heat is released. By using the fact that sound waves absorb and release heat, we can use the waves as a mechanism to transfer the heat away from the fridge. In a thermoacoustic freezer, gas transports the sound waves, which are released by a loudspeaker, into an enclosed tube. This creates a standing acoustic wave, where the wave will simply oscillate back and forth between the two enclosures. In order to make the heat transfer process most efficient, we can put gas in contact with the solid, which effectively transfers heat while still maintaining a stable temperature. As the wave travels to the cool source, it expands and absorbs heat. After pausing momentarily, it travels back, carrying heat while also gradually compressing. At its maximum compression point, the wave releases heat into the heat sink, effectively transferring heat away from the cool source. Repeat this process enough times with a high volume and the temperature of the cool source can drop low enough to function as a refrigerator. In order to increase the distance over which heat travels to or from an adjacent solid, thermoacoustic freezers use a solid with gaps in it, also known as a stack. A stack optimizes heat transfer as it concentrates the wave traveling from one side of the solid to the other. Thermoacoustic freezers have many advantages. They work best when using Nobel gases as their thermodynamic working fluids, which are non-toxic and environmentally friendly. In addition, the mechanism has no moving parts, so a thermoacoustic engine could easily be attached to a refrigerator. In general, the prospect of thermoacoustic energy is very promising. Who knows, maybe noisy traffic from outside your window could one day keep your ice cream